From a young age, Sean was obsessed with two things, bikes and coffee. Well, I guess Sean had more of a taste for caffeine than most young boys should. Hey, no coffee! But it did fuel his passion for riding bikes like none other. Sean's father was his hero, and like all young boys, Sean longed to follow in his footsteps. Returning from a business trip in Italy, his father had something to share with him. It was a photo he'd taken of a small mountain cafe nestled high in the Dolomites, where he had just tasted the best coffee of his life. And so, from that day forward, Sean cherished the photo and dreamt of going to Italy himself one day to find his own perfect cup. 20 years is a long time to wait, but the best ambitions percolate with a slow boil. Now, finally, Sean has made it to Rome. But what to do? See the spectacular Trevi Fountain? Or maybe take in the timeless magnificence of the Spanish steppes? Or surely admire the most famous landmark of all, the mighty Colosseum? But no. Sean's thoughts are not of tourist traps. He has steamier things on his mind. All he needs before setting off on his grand tour is his first taste of fine Italian espresso. Today, for the last two decades, Sean has been thinking about Italy and coffee and biking. And coffee and biking and Italy. That's 7,305 daydreams. And apparently he has been dreaming of this trip for so long, he thinks he must be asleep to make it a reality. Oh, Sean, wake up! Yes, I'm talking to you. You can hear me, can't you? I know this might seem a little strange, but against better judgment, I'm going to be keeping a keen eye on you throughout this little journey of yours, making sure you don't get yourself into too much trouble. Now, you'll be back in the office in that sad little cubicle in eight days, so shake off that jet lag, stretch out those legs a little, oh, and buckle your helmet. Let's see just how much your bike skills have improved in the last 20 years. Boy, I heard the hospital has terrible coffee. Wow, I'm impressed. Now have your espresso. And maybe a little bit of water, too? The car is all the way back up that hill. Ah, the beauty of the Italian countryside. It's inspired countless works of art throughout the ages. Poems, paintings, plays, it's influenced a myriad of creative minds and... 
Oh. Smooth move, Hotshot. It seems it's just too much for this crappy little car to handle. Sean, this is your own fault. Did you think you were being James Bond when you chose an 83 Duetto for driving to the Dolomites? Oh, but my poor boy, you've traveled so far. You've dreamt of exploring the Italian mountains for years. Don't lose hope, boy. Find inspiration. You're not just a pretty face and a mustache. You've got some brains in that head, too. Think, boy, think. Yes, smart boy. Go get help. Incredibile, Sean. Whoa, such strong legs. I've never seen a man tow a car with a bicycle. Say bravo, say bravo. And so, Sean left the fate of the car in the hands of Giovanni and his 50 years working on tractors. Finding himself with an afternoon to kill, he set off in search of some local Tuscan culture. Hmm, how surprising, Sean. You ended up in a cafe. Not quite what I was going for, but I guess coffee is culture here, so good for you. Sure, have another one. You've earned it. Okay, Sean, you haven't earned that many. I know you love this stuff, but remember, everything in moderation. Dio buono, 11 coffees. Are you crazy? What on earth are you doing? Listen to me. You will regret this. Sean! That bell tolls for you. Have you seen what time it is? You better hope that car of yours has been fixed. Say fuori, Sean. See what you have done. You drank enough coffee to drown a porpoise. You can't drive when you're more buzzed than a beehive. You've gotten yourself into a real mess. Your only hope now is to pray that you can get a wink of sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Well, things certainly got weird last night, didn't they, Sean? Coffee-infused hallucinations are not my speciality. Save that for your therapist next week, you silly boy. Now, let's get back to the journey at hand.
Ah, the Dolomiti. Look at those jagged peaks. Not unlike the ups and downs of your journey. I can't believe you've made it this far, but it's time to finally see exactly what it was that your dad was talking about all those years ago. Stupendo! You've done it! Your father stood right here in this very spot and took this photo 20 years ago. Savor this moment and this coffee, my dear Sean. The best you've ever had? Ah, no, not even close. Mountain cafes are famous for their great views, not great brews. But perhaps the coffee isn't really the reason your father gave you that photo. Perhaps he wanted you to know how Italians approach life. La dolce vita. Always do what you love. Ciao, Sean. Andiamo. Just feet from where you sat It didn't 